What is up guys, my name is Chase, and do you ever feel like you just royally screwed up? What is up guys, my name is Chase, and I have such a hatred towards paper, it makes me sick. That's why I shred all my money. I feel like I might have made a big mistake by getting rid of all of my paper, so what better way to get back into paper than with these things? What the heck is this? This is a magazine. Back in the old times, people would read these words and pictures printed on paper. Yeah, it's crazy how much the past sucked. Of course, video game magazines were a big trend back when magazines were actually relevant. I remember going into loco bookstores and seeing video game magazines with a bunch of bold text all over the cover. But one of the all-time classic video game magazines was Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power was Nintendo's official print magazine in North America. If you're a video game fan, I'm sure this cover of Nintendo Power is burned into your brain. This is the very first issue of Nintendo Power, and it is an absolute classic. I should know, I wasn't even born. The clay jumping Mario with the magazine screaming at you. Free poster inside. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never had the chance to own Nintendo Power. When the first issue of Nintendo Power was released, I was still a fetus. And by the time I reached an age where I actually started caring about video game magazines, these things started taking over. It all eventually led to Nintendo Power's final issue on December 11th, 2012. It was a sad moment. Nintendo Power had been one of the longest running video game magazines in the US and Canada. They even commemorated it by recreating the cover used for the first issue. Following the retiring of Nintendo Power magazine, 13-year-old Chase was pretty upset that he missed out on so many years of fun Nintendo magazines. I mean, I'm the person who collects Nintendo boxes. Of course I wanted my hands on physical Nintendo magazines. But my cries were answered when a Kickstarter popped up for something called Nintendo Force Magazine. Nintendo Force is a bi-monthly magazine that was said to be a spiritual successor to Nintendo Power with the intention of carrying the legacy. The magazine staff included members from Destructoid, Go Nintendo, Nintendojo, 1UP.com, and many more. Of course, I was all hyped about Nintendo Force magazine. I finally got to live out my dream of collecting video game paper that will eventually end up in a landfill. The first issue was released in January 2013 and included... What? And... Huh? No, in all seriousness, the first few issues of Nintendo Force were really cute. We got to learn about the staff making the magazine, and each member was represented with their me. That's fun. There were comics, reviews, an inbox section, and of course, news. It was honestly just so fun to have a physical copy of a Nintendo magazine. The fresh new magazine paper feeling, the fun artwork and designs, and let's not forget, words. Something I really like about Nintendo Force is the covers. The covers are always so much fun and almost feel like a YouTube video thumbnail. There's a nice big art piece from the featured game of the month with a little side banner listing what's in this current issue. This cover for Mario and Luigi Dream Team is probably one of my favorites. The art style and the blue and pink color scheme just work so well together. And speaking of art, every so often you would get a fun little bonus with your Nintendo Force magazine. These were usually posters that would come inside the magazine. Unfortunately, all of mine got ruined when I apparently gave up on life and started sticking the poster straight onto the wall. Important lesson for y'all, putting adhesive directly on posters will ruin them when you try to take it off the wall. Anyway, there was this really cool poster that came with the Super Smash Bros. 4 issue of Nintendo Force. This artwork of all of the fighters is genuinely one of the coolest Smash Bros. art pieces I've ever seen. And then further on into the magazine, we have a pretty wide variety of content. Between Nintendo news, community highlights, reviews, and even comics, there is a lot to see in a single issue of Nintendo Force magazine. Maybe this is just the Gen Z in me talking, but there's something so endearing about having a physical magazine that I can flip through. It's also really fun to have a physical copy of Nintendo history from the Wii Mini to the original Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Finally, each issue of Nintendo Force concludes with a preview of the next issue, which was always really fun to get a sneak peek into the future. 
Overall, Nintendo Force Magazine is a fun celebration of all things Nintendo. In a world where print media is dying, it's nice to get your hands on a magazine that offers fun and uplifting content for people of all ages. But let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite video game magazines are. If you guys want to see more of my Nintendo videos, feel free to check out some of the videos below. But for now, thank you for watching. My name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.